Good morning. Okay, I'm excited that you're all here. I'm especially excited that you're here for what we're going to be doing this morning. This is some of my favorite stuff to work with people on, and I hope that you feel the same by the time we're done. One of the things that Peter Drucker said, which really sticks with me, is you cannot manage other people unless you manage yourself first. So in the context of leadership, I, I really believe, it's one of my deeply held beliefs, and I share it with somebody who is wiser, um, that this is where you really have to start. So what we're going to do today is look at self-management. There will be, I'd say it's going to be about 80-20. About 80% 80 of what we'll do is really looking at ourselves, and we're going to spend maybe 20% of the time thinking about what is, how does that then play out in how I lead other people. I, I believe that one of the most profound issues that leaders have is that there tends to be a gap in all of us between what we intend and what other people experience of us, between our intent and our impact. And the more that you as a leader close the gap between intent and impact, the more effective you become. And the best way to close that gap is through self-awareness and self-management. And that's what today is about. What I do want to say is, from standing up here, and I don't know if anyone else noticed it, the, the tone in the room shifted. Like there's a different, there's sort of a quietness in the room. And it's amazing when you do those, how fast shifting attention changes mood, changes tone. Um, I also just want to say, and we'll come back to this as well, that this is a great tool. Even if all you do is that first part about feet on floor for three breaths, that is enough to make a shift. And it's a conscious choice. And we're going to talk about a lot of conscious choices about attention. It's a conscious choice to shift attention. We have this enormous power with our minds and our attention. And we're going to talk about how we use that for good, how it gets in our way, what its power is, what its, what its problems are. 